Hi, it's Kip K back with another Make Magazine weekend project. Today we're going to build a fun and easy kit out of the maker shed that makes musical noise. Or does it make noisy music? Well, find out for yourself as we build the 555 Noise Music Kit on today's weekend project. <music> You can pick up your own 555 music kit at the Maker Shed. Just type 555 in the search box. Now once you get your kit, you'll want to open up the package and inspect all the contents. Make sure you have everything you need to build it. We'll be soldering everything to the pre-made and marked circuit board. So take a look at that and see where everything goes. And now let's build it. The first thing we'll be installing are the resistors. There's two 1K and two 4K resistors. Check the color bands and match those with the location on the circuit board and solder those in place. And of course, with most of the components we put in, we'll have to clip those leads when we're done soldering. Then there are a few capacitors, a 22 puff or picofarad, and then a 0.047 microfarad cap. Now these are non-polarized, which means they can go in either way on the locations on the circuit board. And then there's also an electrolytic capacitor, which is a 10 microfarad, and this is polarized, which means the long lead is the positive lead. There are two infrared detectors, and these add a certain level of fun to this noise music kit. So those will be soldered in their location, and then there's also a smaller red LED, which is the power indicator LED. Now the IC sockets are important for this project because they're used to protect the ICs from the heat of the soldering iron and they make it a little bit easier to swap in a new chip if necessary. So install those in their respective locations and pay attention to that small cutout notch. We're also going to add a mini stereo jack. This will allow you to plug the noise music kit into an amplifier, computer speaker, or home stereo. In order to drop the voltage we'll be getting from our 9 volt battery down to an even 5 volts, we'll be using a voltage regulator and make sure you install that with the heat sink in the proper orientation on the board. We'll also solder in the power switch and then our little power supply leads need to be trimmed back about an inch and a half and then strip those leads. The red and black wires go in the positive and negative holes on the location marked power in. And the last step is to install our two 555 chips in our sockets. Don't forget that the dot on the chips mark pin 1 of the IC, which is the side of the socket that has the little semicircle removed from it. You don't want to plug headphones into the mini stereo jack because the audio output is way too hot. So you want to add a little speaker to the speaker locations on the board. And now let's test it out. The sound is changed by the amount of light that reaches the infrared sensors, and also the natural resistance of your body changes the sound when you touch the four touch points. And that's how to make the 555 Noise Music Kit. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.